needles in a young girl's arm, the kind of case it's just too tantalizing to turn down. At the start of a quest, it's best to begin with questions. Is this fact, fakery, or downright foolishness? Is hypnosis a profound experience or just a parlor game? Does it exist at all? There were two schools of thought, and I was late for both of them. Well, the question of what hypnosis is has been a major problem for hypnosis for 200 years that we disagree. To me, hypnosis is really focused attention, though it can be also diffuse attention, but it's really an involvement in it. And that, to me, is the crux of, of hypnosis. In a good trance, you can just change your perception. Just as you can change your perception of hearing, you can change your perception of pain. The vast majority of people think that hypnosis is some fundamental, profound, all altered state of consciousness, a sort of trance that you enter into. A lot of people think that when you're in this trance, you're not aware of what's going on. A lot of people think that when you're in this trance, you can transcend your normal capacities and do things that you couldn't normally do and so on. And I think this is a very misleading an inaccurate representation of hypnosis. Hypnosis isn't a thing at all. It's a, it's a, I don't think. It's a, it's part of a cultural mythology that gets concretized into this social situation where sort of one person is hypnotizing the other person. So it's a fantasy.